Hello, 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 this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to knit the stitch. I started a wrap and I only knit about three designs. This is called the eyelash stitch. Uh, I knew this stitch way back in 1986. I knitted myself uh, a sweater and I do have a tutorial for that but this is a different version it's done with nine stitches okay and you need to use a big 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 knitting needle okay so let's get started on how to knit this beautiful stitch what you need is a lace yarn or something thin mohair uh, kid mohair I would highly recommend this is Angora Rabbit it's pretty thin and what you need to do is you need to cast a multiple of 12 plus 3. I get this question a lot. Even I explain these on my tutorials. So that's all you need to do. And uh, you can make anything with this stitch. Mostly they are wraps, shawls. I am planning to do um, a, a triangle uh, shawl. So stay tuned for that. But this is uh, just, uh, I cast it on 123 stitches. So I'm going to use up all the yarn that I have. And uh, let's get started. The yarn that I'm going to be using is 80% Angora Rabbit. And uh, the rest is uh, polyamide, 20% polyamide here. Uh, there's 88 gram of yarn here, so I'm going to use up every bit of it. Uh, but if you want to make it longer, you want uh, for the wrap, you can use 200 gram. Uh, I'm sorry, 100 gram. 98 gram or 200 100 gram if you want to make it huge then you can play around with it this is a lace yarn and uh, it is thin okay Where are the info so i'm going to cast on multiple of uh, 12 plus 3 okay the trick is use for this stitch, use uh, thin yarn, like mohair yarn, kid mohair yarn, and then uh, use bigger crochet knitting needles. Okay, the knitting needle I am using is the Prime number 11, come on focus, US, and it's 8 millimeter, because I'm a tight knitter, that's the reason I'm using a bigger one. You can use any knitting needle if you want. Okay, so I'm going to, I don't, I want to use all a bit of this yarn. So I'm gonna uh, cast on from uh, this technique. So I'm gonna cast on using the two knitting needles cause you need to uh, cast on as loose as you can. And for that reason, this is what I'm going to do. Okay. Just like this. And I'm going to grab another knitting needle just to uh, pick up the stitches. So I'm planning to make 120. So it's 12 plus 3. So 123 stitches. Okay. And like I said, if you want to make it wider, your wrap, you can do that multiple of 12 plus 3. 147, I believe. And then you can go from that. But uh, just wanted to show you, I am going to cast on using this two two needles to because I want it nice and loose because it's a thin yarn and I'm using a bigger crochet hook. Okay, so what as if to knit, but what I do is I put the needle here and try to make it as loose as I can because I want uh, I want it loosely. Okay, the beginning. That's why um, 
this uh, is called the airy wrap because <laughs> it is super light with uh, the trick is using bigger knitting needles multiple of 12 plus 3 I've been wanting to do this tutorial for years I remember in 1986 uh, this stitch was very popular in Turkey and I was in Turkey then and I just fell in love with it and everyone was commissioning uh, to uh, people, you know, knitters to knit the stitch. And I learned this. I don't know how I learned it because we didn't have YouTube then. So I knitted a sweater. I have a tutorial. It's a different version, but it's the same method. And this stitch, 1986, this stitch was called, there was a movie star, star. she has big lashes, eyelashes. It's called uh, Turkan Shorai. That's her name. Her eyelashes. That's what the stitch is called. Isn't it funny? Oh my goodness. So I uh, just wanted to give you some info about it. And I noticed I was uh, I was on I just went to Facebook if I, if there was any message or anything, and I saw this on uh, Lace Group. Someone was asking about the stitch, and I said, Oh my goodness, I know that stitch. But I didn't do this version of this uh, tutorial. Uh, I used to knit uh, wraps like this in Penticton, BC, and I would sell it at the far uh, at the farmers craft markets, and they would sell so fast. And uh, the, again, and I forgot to do the you know there's so many tutorials to do and uh, stitches to show, but you know I miss a lot. And it just reminded me, and there was no, uh, I think there's one on Etsy. But it's a super easy stitch. I don't know how she wrote it down. Uh, you can go to Etsy, but there's a stitch. The stitch. She's selling the pattern. I don't have a written pattern. I am just showing you how to knit this stitch. And as soon as I saw it, I just realized. Yeah, just wanted to give you some feedback, uh, background about the stitch that I have knitted this stitch for years and years. And I kept on uh, forgetting to do the tutorial. Uh, okay, so I'm going to cast on 123, a multiple of 12 plus 3. So this is going to take me a while because uh, it's, it's, it's a... Uh, but the rest is going to be super easy and it's going to go nice and smooth. So I, when I have the 123 stitches, I will come to show you how to knit this beautiful stitch, stitch this beautiful air uh, wrap. Okay, I'll be right back. I have cast on a total of 123 stitches. Okay, so I am going to remove one of the needles so we can start knitting. The I would recommend if you forget your stitches, put a stitch marker. That's how I kept on moving because uh, it's a lot of stitches. Okay, so I'm going to pull this and then pull this from here. Yeah, this is the easiest way to cast on because it's going to be tight. And we don't want the beginning to be tight. Okay, here we go. We're going to start right away. It's pretty wide. Don't measure it at the beginning, but if you want to measure after you knit a couple of rows uh, for a wrap, uh, I I my recommendation is between uh 19 inches to uh 23 inches uh, uh not the length but the wideness and then you can con continue knitting well i'm going to use up all this yarn that i have i don't think with the cone i have 88 uh gram so i don't know uh we'll see Okay, so we're going to start right away. So for the first two rows, what we're going to do is we're just going to knit. That's all we're going to do. It's a very easy stitch. OK, 
Okay, here we go. And I looked everywhere. There's no tutorial at all. Okay, what did I do? I don't want to miss any stitches. I forgot to pull this up. So uh, for the first row, I'm going to knit the stitch. Usually I don't knit the first uh, stitches when I start. So it's just going to try to knit as loose as you can because uh, this stitch shows when it's nice and loose. Yeah, I'm a tight knitter, so I'm trying to knit as loose as I can. And try to pull this as you go when you're uh, pulling the stitch like this. Again, this stitch would be perfect on the mohair silk yarn. I do have in my stash, but I really don't know where they are. But uh, as soon as I get a hold of them, I will uh, knit a couple of wraps. Yeah, use up the yarn that I have. Okay, so this is all I'm doing. Just knit. And this is how it looks like. It's going to be loose. That's what we're aiming for because it's uh, it's called airy shawl well this is going to be angora rabbit usually it's knit with mohair so it's called airy mohair shawl okay so i will finish and the other row then after finishing this row i will knit that row as well and i will come back and then we will start the stitch Okay, so we're going to start the third row, which is going to be on the wrong side of the um, knit. Okay, uh, I knit my pearls Turkish style. It's easy for me. And um, so the yarn is coming over my neck here. I get that question a lot if you're, not, if you're new to my channel. Okay, so the first stitch I'm not going to knit. The second I'm going to purl and try to make this as loose as you can. It's a little bit uh, tough when you're a tight crochet knitter. Okay, so I did three purl stitches. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do this yarn over twice and then pull. Okay, we need that space. To make that um, stitch so two I'm showing with this finger so you can see it better three four five six Six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> okay, so we did nine purl stitches this way. Now we're going to just knit three purls to oh, see. Uh, this part is tight. Try to make it as loose as I can, but uh, two and then three. Okay, and we're going to repeat this one more time. So uh, nine stitches. We're going to uh, uh, wrap it twice. And try to make that loose as you can. One, and then you count two. three, four, five, six, seven, eight and then nine and then the three stitches is just regular 
I'm just going to knit them regular purl. Two and then three. And I'm going to repeat this all the way to the end. It's going to take me a while because I have lots of stitches and uh, we want it nice and loose. So I will come back to show you the fourth row. I'm almost at the end. Just wanted to show you. I want to finish it. I'm having a hard time because I'm not used to big <laughs> knitting needles. I'm having a hard time doing the wraps. So funny though. Okay, so this is nine. And then the last three stitches, I'm just gonna knit them purl. I noticed while I was knitting this, the last stitch, this is how I knit to give that nice edge. This is how I do it. You can do whichever you like. Okay, I noticed, see what happened here while I was casting on, uh, this didn't go through. So I'm going to grab that with a crochet hook and fix that problem. It's just a trick that I do. Well, I never had that problem before. So that's something new I just saw. So I'll uh, fix it. Okay, so we're on the uh, right side and this is the fourth row. So what we're going to do is we're going to knit and pick those wrap stitches so knit stitch yarn on the front uh, back so the first stitch i don't knit see it gives you this nice effect i'm gonna knit the three stitches and uh, these wraps i'm just gonna pull them like this get two three while i'm doing that just wanted to grab that uh, it's right here okay so the three is so this is the stitch right here so i will fix that here so um the three knit stitches the three stitches the uh, nine stitches i'm sorry keep on saying three three stitches we already knit three six nine so we're gonna knit these all together and then we're gonna make stitches yeah that this is how this stitch is created okay here it's a little bit tricky especially when you're using big knitting needles which I'm not used to okay here we go so I'm going to knit the first but I'm not gonna pull it I'm gonna do a yarn over so I'm making stitches and try to make it as loose as you can so two and grab all of them at once three Yarn over four again, knit five, yarn over six, seven, knit, yarn over nine, and knit the last stitch. Okay, and then you can let it go. And this is how we create this beautiful stitch. Okay, for the three stitches, I'm going to knit. Okay, here is that stitch. I don't know what happened. So I'm just going to grab a crochet hook. I'm a crocheter as well. And uh, But if you're not a crocheter, I would highly recommend you to have one to fix these problems. So what I'm going to do is... Just grab it like this and then I will get, see we're making a stitch but I'm gonna get rid of it so I see one and one So I'm going to get rid of that stitch. Just 
to do that, I will knit these two together. This is how you can fix that problem there. Okay, and then knit the third stitch. Okay, so we're going to see how this happens. It's nice and fluffy and uh, soft, airy. These stitches are tight. Just having a hard time. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to repeat what we just did. So one, two, three, three, four, this one's twisted, four, five, six, seven, eight and then nine okay and we're going to repeat what we did right and like this on this one so one two three again count three six nine here we are so grab those three stitches as if to knit and we're going to make Yarn over like that. So knit those, knit all three together. Don't miss anything. Yarn over, knit, yarn over three, four. Six, seven. Uh, what did we do? We did something wrong. Let me just start all over again. It's, it's supposed to be finishing with the knit stitch. Okay. I haven't been knitting this stitch for years, I think. The last time I knitted was 2014. And I think I did a tutorial. Yeah. Okay. But it's a different version of this stitch. So let's start all over again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine here we go and then let it go and then try to fix it and ta-da so i'm gonna repeat what we did because i have so many here to do i haven't count how many there is well there should be 12 because i did 120 right so i have to do eight more so i'm going to knit the next three stitches uh, not knit. Yeah, knit. Knit. Because this is the right side. So one, two, three. And then I will repeat what I just did. It just takes a time because I'm not used to uh, big needles. And I'll be right back. Okay, for the last three stitches, I'm just going to knit them. Try to knit as loose as you can, like I said. And then, for the next two rows, we're going to repeat how we started. So this is all to it. We're going to repeat this over and over. But we're going to change these. So this uh, eyelash is going to be in the middle here. And then, Versa. You know we're gonna play them or move them around um, for the uh, for the second uh, st pattern that we're going to uh, start. But next for the next two rows, we're just gonna do knit, knit, knit. 
just like this. So I will let you knit the next two rows. This is all we're going to do. We're going to knit these stitches. So we're starting the second set. So we finished the first, which we created this uh, stitch. So we just knit these stitches that we made. And then we're going to knit the uh, other row when we finish this row. And this is all to it. So I'm going to let you knit and I will meet you. Uh, stop counting. So I believe this is the fifth, sixth row. So I will meet you on the seventh row. And we'll go from there. I had to change my needles because uh, the stitches wasn't moving on this one. It has some grippy uh, texture on the needles. So I moved to the Addy. <clears throat> yeah, it's uh, it's moved nicely and smoothly. Okay, so I am just finishing the last row of the knit stitch. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start... The same design but this time what we're going to do is uh we're going to start with nine purl stitches remember at, on this one we did three here so we're going to move this to here in between and then make the nine and then the eyelashes here okay Slip. I'm counting that one as well. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so right here, we're going to do total of nine uh, wraps. Okay, so I'm moving the stitches a bit. Okay, so how were we doing? We're gonna do one, and then we're gonna do two, and then we're gonna knit. So we're wrapping twice. Then let it go. So this is the second one. So one, one, two, and then pull it and then we repeat this one two pearl wise yarn on the front one I got to wrap it so we go one and then two wrap and then knit one two and then knit and then let's count these two four five so this is six seven eight and then nine Let's count again. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Okay, now we're going to knit three purl stitches. One, two, three. And then we're going to repeat again nine wraps. And this is all to it. Okay, so I am going to make the rest and I will come back at the end to finish it up and this is how it looks like so far this is the other side 
the more you knit, the more you will see the design to wrap and continue. Okay, so I will meet you at the end and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have made the last eyelashes right here. So there's nine stitches. So I have nine stitches left. Two, four, six, eight, nine. So what I'm going to do is I started with nine and I'm ending with nine. So I'm just going to purl these, knit these stitches purl wise. And then I'm going to unwrap those wraps that we did. So I'm going to knit. Yeah, see, I try to make it as loose as I can, but unfortunately <laughs> it's tight. It doesn't. Well, it slides better than this needle, on this needle. I had a hard time with the other one. So uh, this part is going to be knit. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then unwrap these nine stitches Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And what we're going to do is we're going to knit them together and make all these nine. Grab them and count them when you're grabbing them. So two. It's a little bit hard to count them. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Okay. Grab the look at it. Don't miss any stitches. So uh knit all together. But don't let it go yarn over so this is two knit three yarn over five knit six was it six two four two four actually five six seven eight and then the last time and then we pull them up all together then we create this design and then we're gonna knit three stitches in between one two three okay and then we're gonna unwrap these two we're gonna repeat what we just did Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just checking, uh, three, okay, it looks like one stitch is missing, how did that happen? Don't want to miss anything. So we have three here. Two, four, six, eight, nine. I'm just checking. This is a wrap. So it looks like one stitch is missing. If this happens, nothing to worry about because the rest of the numbers are working. I don't know what happened. Some here, maybe I did something wrong. I don't want to lose any stitches. So what, what can you do is we need to make one extra. So nothing to worry about because one stitch is missing. Okay, and that will be fixed easily. So grab all those stitches. 
and then we're going to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and pull all together. Okay, and we're going to repeat this all the way to the end. So I will let you repeat and I will come back. Well, I don't have to come back. That's the thing. It's just repeat over and over. So after um, this, what we're going to do is, uh, well, I'll finish this row and I'll come back just to show you one more time because it's just to repeat what we did on this one. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm ma making the last one. So grab it. One, yarn over two. Three, yarn over four. Five, yarn over six. Seven. eight and then the last one nine okay and then pull it like this fix it a bit <laughs> okay and then knit the last nine stitches that we have on the edge here okay and then what we do is the next two rows is just the knit stitch as we've been doing how we started and then we start I just need to knit a couple of rows and I will show you how it looks like. And uh, this is how it looks like so far. So uh, when we come after knitting the two rows, what we do is we do three knit and then we do nine wraps. Three knit, nine wraps, and then at the end you will have three stitches right here at the border and then when we finish this uh, row we start with nine knit and then nine wrap and then at the end you should have nine so it's just a repeat 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 as long as you you knit as long as you want or use up the yarn that you have uh, i really like this angora rabbit so far so i just can't wait um yeah so I hope you like this tutorial so far. This is how it looks like. I'm going to knit and I will do the intro at the beginning of this video. Uh, when I knit, knit, knit. And it does work with Angora Rabbit yarn. Yeah, I usually knit it with mohair because mohair is cheaper. Right? But uh, Angora Rabbit is gorgeous as well. Okay, so uh, by now, if you haven't subscribed to my channel... Please do subscribe, share it with your family and friends, and don't forget to hit that notification button. So every time I post a new video, you will be notified, indicating there's something new for you to watch. You guys take care. Happy knitting. Bye-bye. And when you come to this one, just knit one stitch at a time because it's a, just grab and then knit them all up.